guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup collection video for you. Um, it's going to be part of a series. I've decided to do a collection slash storage series on my channel and I'm starting out with makeup and yeah, a couple of other things on the way but you'll have to keep watching to find out what they are. So I'll jump right into it. <laughs> Okay, so this is where I store all my makeup. I store it in these two clear cubes with little drawers. They are from Officeworks and they're actually for like A4 pieces of paper, but they've got a lot of depth to it so you can fit a lot of makeup in these drawers. And they were only $10 each, so I thought that was a really good bargain. And on the top I've just got some hair products and um, I'll talk you through the makeup. So up on top I have these cute little bookends. These are from uh, Typo. And so there's one on the other side and they're holding my makeup palettes. So all of my, there's mostly eyeshadow palettes but a couple of other professional palettes as well. And so. I'll talk you through them. So the first thing I have is this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette and it's called Comfort Zone. And the next palette I have is the Urban Decay Naked palette which I'm sure all of you have seen. These are a bunch of eyeshadows. So this palette here actually came free. I really can't remember where. Um, it could have been Priceline knowing me, but it's a little makeup palette. I've honestly never used it. Um, it's a bunch of eyeshadows, some powders and blushes and a sponge and some lip glosses. It's kind of really cheap make makeup, which is why I didn't use it and probably why it came free. And then I have my two little sleek makeup palettes, eyeshadow palettes. And this one is Storm. And that's what they look like. They're a little bit damaged because they actually came to Europe with me when I went on my Kentucky tour. And then the other makeup palette I have from Sleek is called the O Naturel. And the palette looks like that. So just another natural eyeshadow palette. I like a lot of natural colors. I can't really wear... A lot of brights. So. so this is my newest palette. This is the BH Cosmetics Day and Night palette, which I actually blogged about and I have like um, close-up pictures. Still got the plastic on it. So we've got some really nice eyeshadow colours for day and night, hence the name. And that's what that looks like. I'll link my blog post down below if you want to have a closer look at it. I have a lot of BH Cosmetics palettes. Um, this one is the Camouflage Professional Concealer Palette and I have actually taken this on photo shoots that I've done and that's what it looks like. So they, And they're really good concealers too, they have a lot of coverage. And then I have the Contour and Blush Palette from BH Cosmetics. So you've got your dark contours, you've got some blushes and some highlight colours. And then this is the BH Cosmetics Lip Gloss Colour Palette. And as you can see, there's a lot of different colours in this one. And yeah, they're actually good quality too, so I like them a lot. They look like they haven't been used, but I have actually used them. And now I actually have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes. These are the 120 colour ones. These are from BH Cosmetics. I think this is edition one. So there's lots of bright colors. After me saying I don't really wear bright colors. But yeah, it's really fun to do something different. And this has been used um, just recently actually in my blindfolded makeup challenge with Isabel. Um, so that was fun. And those are the other colors underneath. Okay, here's the next one. I believe this is the second edition. And there's like a mixture of mattes and shimmers. And that's the second tray. And my favorite color is this one. As you can see, I've used it quite a bit. It's a nice coppery color. And then I've got one more palette. And this is the fourth edition. And I just love all these colors. These are all shimmer colors. So <laughs> if you're a fan of shimmer colors, then this is definitely the palette for you. And I'm a massive fan of shimmers. Oopsie, I'm bringing out both of them here. Yeah. This is so hard to do. And here's the other palette. I love all these colors. I mean, look at those like plum colors and oh, it's just amazing. I love this palette. I haven't used it yet, but I certainly will be soon. So then I have one more palette in my bookends and you can see my bookends better now. They just come individually. They're from Typo and they were $19.95. And yeah, so this one here, this was my first ever makeup palette when I used to work for Mary Kay Cosmetics. 
and this came from when I got Princess of Sales, so it was a free gifty. I still got the plastic in because I'm kind of anal like that. Um, so it came with this really nice blush. This is a very nude natural brown and then a nice creamy color, a bronze and a dark navy blue. And then it came with this lipstick which looks like that and it's a really nice lipstick. And this is a lip gloss to go over the top. So that was my first ever makeup palette and I still have it. I got it when I was about 16 when I was working there. It was my first makeup job before I was even qualified as a makeup artist, so that was exciting. So these are what these look like close up. Um, as you can see, this one actually has a deeper draw down the bottom, and this one has got a lot more thinner drawers. And so I thought I'd buy a deeper one just you know, in case I had a few products that were too um, fat, too big <laughs> to fit in the drawers. Um, but I needn't have worried, these, these fit so much. So. so this is the first drawer, which is where I keep all my foundations. Excuse the glare from the window. Um, so this is the Nude by Nature um, Flawless Foundation, which my Nana actually got me. And it came with the Mineral Primer. And this is the Benefit Pore um, Freshenal. I never know how to say that. I normally say Pore Freshenal all the time. I don't know why. Um, so that is my favorite primer at the moment. And it's really, really good for minimizing pores and really good for oily skin. And this is the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua Foundation. And this is definitely one of my favorite foundations at the moment. And then this is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation. And then this one is for when I want makeup that lasts a really, really, really long time. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. And then this one, which is nearly um, finished, is the Body Shop Moisturizing Foundation. And this has been one of my favorite foundations for years. I think the first time I tried this, I was about 15. And I have never looked back. I love the smell. I love the way it looks on your skin. Um, I love the way it lasts. I love the fact that you can build it or make it look really natural. It's just one of my favorite foundations and I always continue to buy it. And it's not that expensive considering it's the body shop. And then last but not least, this is something I'm really loving at the moment. It's the Garnier um, BB Cream. And uh, the reason I'm really liking this at the moment is because it's summer here in Australia. And I don't know, I feel like I don't really need a foundation during the day anymore. So... I just use this during the day with a little bit of powder. So that is the foundation drawer. And this is my blush drawer. This is one of my favorite drawers. I'm starting to really like blush at the moment. Um, so we'll start over here. I've got a few MAC products. Um, this one is well dressed. And I wonder if I can get a better light for you. It's actually like a pale baby pink. And then this one here is another MAC and this one is called Spring Sheen. Um, so this is kind of like a corally color with a little bit of gold flecks in it and I really like that. It's my favorite at the moment. And then this one is MAC Dainty and it's one of their mineralized blushes. And it's kind of like a shimmery pink with a little bit of peach to it. Um, so then this one here, this is Bare Minerals in Sorbet. Um, so it's kind of like a peachy corally color again which is kind of the theme with me, but it's a really subtle color, a really pretty color. And then this one is NYX. I really like NYX blushes. They're really good quality for considering how cheap they are. And this is Pinky, and it's literally just one of those bubblegum pink colors. <laughs> Here, the, the label's rubbed off. Um, this is NYX, and it's Torp, and I actually use this color as a contour. I found it on Essie Button's blog, or one of her videos, I can't remember, but just saying how the contour is really, really good for pale skin. And that's how I got onto it, and she was definitely right. And then the next blush I have is NYX Peach, and it's literally exactly as the name says, it's a matte peach color. So there's no shimmer in that one. And then the next one, oh, which is actually broken, and it makes me really sad. Um, <laughs> this one came traveling with me, and it did not fare well. But the color is gorgeous. This is NYX Pinch, where it's that real coral color with the flecks of gold um, and even like a little bit of pink. I really like that color. It's very similar to this one actually from MAC. And then these two here were back from when I was working for Mary Kay. They don't have cases because they came in these little palettes. Um, they're the same color. They're Sunny Spice. 
Yeah, egg. they just sort of sit there. <laughs> I wish I had the cases still for them. And then this one here, this is Nude by Nature. This is Virgin Blush. So that's what it looks like on my finger. It's really, really nice. I like it. And then last but not least is another one of my absolute favorite blushes. And I just discovered Sleek blushes. I think they're amazing. The quality is so, so nice. The pigmentation is amazing. And this is Rose Gold. And this is what it looks like. It is so pretty. So it's another one where you could say it's almost coppery. I absolutely love it. But yeah, it's literally how it sounds though. It is a rose gold. So that is my blush drawer. So this is kind of like my concealer slash powder drawer. So we've got the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder, which is my absolute favorite um, powder at the moment. I don't think I would ever switch to anything else now that I've discovered this. And then this is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer which is quite loved. Um, it's one of my favorite concealers for um, blemishes on my skin. This is the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Bis. And it just looks like this, so it's like one of those peachy concealers that gets rid of dark circles. So I put this on before my concealer under my eyes and I find that it really, really helps conceal dark circles, which I was born with thanks to my father. <laughs> and then this is the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer in warm ivory. The concealer comes with a pot of concealer and a powder. And then I have a bunch of other concealers when I feel like I want to change things up. This is the Dior Skin Sculpt Concealer. And these are both the same colors, but I bought two. It's the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer. And that's the one I'm using at the moment, hence they're all, <laughs> the writings come off. And I bought two because I knew I was going to love it and I bought them when I was in London, but you can't get them in Australia, so that's why I bought two. And then this is the Nude by Night Flawless Concealer. And then this is my least favorite concealer. This is the Body Shop Concealer in number two. And it's just a stick concealer that looks like that, but... I don't know. I don't find that it's very pigmented and I don't think it has a lot of lasting power. So I don't think I'd be buying that again. And then moving on over to here, I have a Nude by Nature Mineral Finishing Veil. And then I've got the Nature's Minerals Body Shop Foundation. Yeah. And then I've got the Nude by Nature Natural Mineral, mineral Cover. And that's not too bad. It's kind of similar to the Finishing Veil. Um, it's just another powder basically. And this is a little Shiseido sample of foundation that I got in a glossy box. I haven't actually tried it yet and I really need to do that. And then I've got the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder which I wasn't impressed with. I much prefer the Rimmel Stay Matte. And then I got another Nude by Nature. Um, this is actually a bronzer. I don't know why it's in this drawer. I think because I was trying to keep all the pots um, with each other. And then I have the Studio Fix MAC powder, which was my powder before I discovered the Rimmel Stay Matte. And then the last two things I have in this drawer is my two essentials for the mornings. I actually <laughs> use these every day before work. And it's the Clear Eyes um, Eye Drops, which just helps to keep my eyes look a little bit more awake in the morning. And then I've got the Dermalogica Total Eye Care with SPF 15. And then the last drawer here is kind of like my bronzer slash um, products that are random draw. <laughs> so on the left here is my Bourjois Chocolate Bronzing Powder, which is amazing. And it kind of smells like vanilla to me. It doesn't really smell like chocolate, but it makes me want chocolate every time I use it. <laughs> and then I've got the Models Prefer Bronzer which is called Million Bucks. And this is so, so pigmented. I, think I used it in one of my latest tutorials, my Camilla Bell one. So if you wanna see what it looks like, head on over to there. And then I've got the Models Prefer Highlighter, which is really, really pretty. Um, and it's called Glitz and Glamour. And then this is, oh, it's come off. Um, this is the Body Shop Bronzer, and it's in the shade number two, Warm Glow. And that's one of my favorite bronzers along with the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer. So they're definitely my two favorites. And then I have the two <laughs> NYX All Over Bronzed um, Bronzer for Face and Body. Don't ask me why I have two, but I just thought they were a bargain and I don't know, I really liked the designs on them. So <laughs> I'm a little bit of a sucker for marketing. And then this here is the Body Shop um, Brilliance Powder, which is kind of just like a highlight or 
that you use on like your collarbones and stuff, but I can never really get the powder out of this thing. It's one of, it's an impossible contraption. I know I don't know why it doesn't work and it's in shimmer gold. And then over here I've got the Body Shop Shimmer Wave and this is just a really nice like blush slash highlight color. Um, comes out really nice on the skin, really shimmery. And then underneath I've got another Shimmer Waves, oopsie, which is broken <laughs> as you can see. And this is in number one and it's a little bit more bronze. And then up the back I've got another Body Shop product. This is the, I don't know what they're called. I don't know, but they're a bunch of pearls, like bronzing pearls. If you can see them moving in there. They're okay, they're not amazing. The Body Shop is very hit and miss for me. You can get amazing products like these and then not so amazing products like these. So, very hit and miss. And then in the left side, I'm not going to show you each one of these individually because it's kind of just cheap makeup that I got from a subscription service. I think it was called My Beauty Magazine or something. And it just came each month or week, or maybe it was a fortnight. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. And it, each time it came with a free piece of makeup and those are what all these little piles are. So that is the first box. And then I will take you over to the right box. Okay. <laughs> Weirdness aside, I'm going to start off with my lipstick drawer. This is my favorite drawer. Take it all in. Take it all in. It's amazing. Okay. So let's start from the back. Um, I'll go really quickly because it's probably going to be really long. This is the Body Shop um, lipstick in number 52. And it's just a sheer red color. This is a NYX lipstick in, what is it in? Sparkling red. And it's a nice little color. It's more of a pink than a red though. And then these are a bunch of Mary Kay lipsticks. I have Whipped Berries. And this one is in Toffee Caramel, which is my favorite, which is like a nice warm brown color. Garnet Frost. And Sweet Nectar. I'm not going to show you all what they look like because they're really not that exciting compared to some of the other ones. Um, this is my first ever Chanel lipstick and this is in the shade La Fascinate. Or La Fascinate, I don't know how to say it. And you just pop it out like that and it's a gorgeous deep red but it comes out more of a lighter red on your actual lips so it's a little bit deceiving. And then the next lipstick I have, I think this is Dior. Or it could be Lancome, I'm not sure. It doesn't actually say and I don't remember. But this is in Rouge Sensation Desire, which is a gorgeous, like, deep plum brownie colour, which I actually wore in my Camilla Bell tutorial. So that's that one. And then the next one is MAC. And I believe it's called Insanely It, but I can't really read the packaging. <laughs> so this is literally a fuchsia colour. Um, it's coming out a lot lighter on camera, but it's um, a bright fuchsia color. It's not really a baby pink like it's looking. And then this is one of the limited edition MAC products. I had to get one because I'm obsessed with Marilyn Monroe. And proof of that is one of these posters and a poster over there and <laughs> a poster over there. Oh, and I think one over there. <laughs> And this is pretty much like a bright orange color, which is kind of weird. You'd think I would get a red color, but I went more for the orangey. Like it's an orangey red. It's actually called Scarlet Ibis, but it's definitely an orangey red. But I don't want to pull it out because it's too pretty. And then this lipstick is actually the lipstick I'm wearing today. And this is Rouge Volupte number 16. Oh, whoops. <laughs> number 16 from YSL. And I just got it all over my finger. And these are really glossy colors. This is like a bright red. And then this one here, I won't pull it out because you can pretty much see it from the bottle and the colors aren't coming up anyway. And this is another Rouge Full Update in number 10. And this is a fuchsia color. And this is a Revlon lipstick in 001, which is a real nude, like an absolute nude color. And this one here is one from a glossy box. I am not a fan. And it's kind of boring. It's number 343, Face of Australia Beach House. I thought I really liked it at first, but I find it, it's too much like an eyeshadow color. It doesn't really look like a lipstick color. And then these three are my Revlon lip butters. And this one is Lollipop. And this one is Candy Apple. And this one is Tutti Fruity. 
and they're one of my favorite lip products. I love these. I want more and I really, really like the colors. It's just a nice red, a nice fuchsia color and an orange color, which is kind of my three main colors in case you haven't noticed the trend yet. And then over here I've got my Illamasqua lipsticks, which is one of my favorite brand for lipsticks. And this one here is the shade Scandal. And this is gorgeous. This is like, I don't even know how to explain it, but Tanya, Tanya Burr from YouTube made me buy this from one of her tutorials. I think it was a Christina Aguilera tutorial. And then the next Illamasqua is Ignite. It's a bright red. It looks pink. See, the colors do not show up on this camera. Um, but yeah, it's a bright, bright red color. Looks a bit better there. And the next one is Encounter. This is like a deep red, so it's a little bit of a darker red. And then another two of my favorite lipsticks. See, I'm saying they're all my favorite. <laughs> I just love lipsticks. And this is, uh, this is, <laughs> I sounded like I have an accent. Um, this is Topshop lipstick, and this one is Sartorial, and it's literally a bright orange, and I wear this all the time. As you can see, it's kind of like um, worn down a little bit. And then the next one is Brighton Rock, which is... Pretty much just a bright pink. And then the rest of my MAC lipsticks. I'm starting to get a little bit of a collection of MAC lipsticks. So I have Syrup, which is a gorgeous, kind of like a purpley nude color. It's one of my favorites and it's, oh, it smells so good. It smells like vanilla. And then I have, what's this one? Oh, Rebel, I love Rebel. This is like a deep plummy purple, I love it. And this one here is a cream sheen, we know that much. It's a creme de nude. So this is another nude color. And I don't wear a lot of nude colors, as you can see. I, don't, I only have these two, apart from this syrup color, but it's more of a deeper nude. And it's because I'm so pale, I don't want to look like a ghost. And then the next one is Russian Red, which is my newest lipstick. It's one of those like rusty red colors. I call it rusty, because it's kind of like coppery red. And then last two lipsticks. This one is Morange, and this is my favorite orange color ever. And it is literally a bright fluoro orange. It's even brighter than the Topshop one. And then this one here is Dubonnet, and this is a really, really nice red. It's like a deep red. It's almost like a rusty red again. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice red, and I've worn it in one of my Getting Ready With Me videos if you want to see it. So that is all my lipsticks. That's my favorite drawer in my makeup box. <laughs> and then this drawer is lip glosses. So I've got four Napoleon Purtis ones, which I thought I really liked when I first got them, but they're a little bit sticky and they actually leak a little bit. Like these are attached to each other. Um, so I've just got like a peachy color, um, the nude one, which I wear a lot. This is Gossamer Wings, it's called. Island. Um, the peach one is called Coral Island. And this one is called Angelic Psychedelic. And I've got a red one, which is called Scarlet Fever. And they all have shimmer in them. I like a lot of shimmer. And then I've just got some Lucas's Pore Pore Ointment. And then these are my two favorite lip products for when I've got chap lips. Absolutely favorite. It's the Carmex Moisture Plus Lip Balm. And then I've got the Too Faced um, Extreme Injection lip plumping stuff <laughs> um it stings like hell and it really hurts to wear it and if you get it on your skin it goes red so <laughs> i don't really recommend this but it does actually do the job you've just got to be very careful with it um but it does make your lips look really really big and this came in a glossy box this is the miraness um 3d lip gloss in hello kitten this is from gosh and i bought this in boots when i was in london and it's in the shade raspberry galore and then this is one of my favorite lip glosses ever, and it's the NYX um, Plush Red. And it has a little bow on the top, which is kind of dusty. That's embarrassing. And yeah, it's just a really nice lip gloss, and it's really pigmented, and you can wear it on its own, and you get a lot of red color. And then these two are Calvin Klein lip glosses. And over here, I've got more lip balms. I've got the Dermalogica Age Smart Lip Balm. And I've got the Light Lip from Lush, um, which isn't my favorite. I much prefer the Honey Trap. And it does taste like honey. It tastes really, really good. And then I've got two Nude by Nature lip glosses, which I absolutely do not like at all. They taste disgusting. The color is amazing. I mean, they're nice colors, but they taste so gross and it's just not worth it. 
And then I've got three lip balms over here. I've got a Burt's Bees. I've got two baby lips from Maybelline. And then I've got a Revlon Just Bitten Lip Steam and Balm. And this is a nice red color. And yeah, this one's called Gothic. And yeah, so that's another lip drawer. And then the next drawer I have is all mascaras and a few eyeshadow powders. So I've got the NYX eyeshadow powder, which is called Torp and Ash. But I mostly use, I think it's the ash color. And then I've got the Body Shop eyebrow powder. And yeah. this also has two colors in it as well. But they're a little bit more red. And I have absolutely no red in my eyebrows naturally. So it looks a little bit strange. I much prefer the ash color from NYX. And then I've got my eyebrow tint. This is in light brown and this is the developer for the color. And then I've got some gosh eyebrow ink and this is in wheat. And then I've got the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara which comes with this cute little wand. Like it's so tiny. That's how big it is seriously. I love it. <laughs> but it's really good for doing the bottom lashes and it doesn't leave any fallout and doesn't leave any black under the eyes. And then this is a sample from a glossy box, I believe, and it's the Lancome Doll Eyes Mascara. And I'm going to buy the full size of this because I absolutely adore it. And then I've got Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Boost, which is another mascara that I really like. And this is another Essence Mascara, which is the defining one. Another Essence Get Big Lashes Volume and Curl. And this is some lash primer from Blink. And it's a really good lash primer. It really conditions them. And this is my heated lash curler also from Blink. And this is the mascara from Blink, which I do not re recommend at all. It's horrible. But I had to buy these three in a set, so I'm stuck with that. But it's probably going to go in the bin soon. I don't really know why I keep things. Um, and then this is the Bourjois Volumizer Mascara. Back down here we've got some clear eyebrow gel and we've got a mascara from Eye of Horus. And I absolutely love the packaging but unfortunately the mascara is not that great. And then I've got two Maybelline mascaras. I've got Maybelline One by One which is one of my absolute favourites. It's really great for defining your eyelashes which I really much prefer over anything else. I don't really care about length of volume as much as defining so I really like that. And so this is the Maybelline's Falsies, Falsies Mascara which is mostly volume. Um, this is the Body Shop Big and Curvy Mascara and this smells really nice. It smells like honey. And this is the Body Shop Big and curvy mascara in waterproof, but it does not smell good. And <laughs> not like this one. And it's a little bit more watery, but it's not too bad. And this one here is the Revlon Grow Luscious Mascara. And this is the Nude by Nature mascara, which is horrible. Do not use this mascara. It is horrible. And again, I don't know why I keep these things when they're horrible. And then this is the Body Shop Define... What's that say? Define and multiply mascara. So that's my mascara and eyebrow drawer. So this is my eyeshadow uh, drawer. Um, so this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, um, which I really, really like. It's great for long-lasting power of eyeshadows. And this is MAC um, Woodwinked Eyeshadow. And I really, really like the Woodwinked Eyeshadow. It's what I'm wearing today, actually. And then this is the Napoleon Purtis Liquid Liner um, it's a gel liner, sorry, not a liquid liner. And this is NARS, um, what's it called? Armour Cord. This is a cream eyeshadow and it's kind of like a coppery colour. And I absolutely love it as a base for copper powders. I really like coppery eyeshadows because I think they look really good with blue eyes. And then I've got two Model Co palettes that came free with magazines. This one, I won't open them up, they're kind of meh. They're alright, but they're not amazing. They're kind of chalky. Um, this is like a bronzy coloured palette, and this is like a smoky, dark coloured palette. And then back over here again, we've got more Nude by Nature. And I really like these eyeshadows. They're really pretty. This is the contour colour. They sort of come in steps. Um, the define colour and the base. And it's all pretty much neutral colours, like neutral browns and pinks. And then I've got two Body Shop Baked Eyeshadows. This is a purple colour um, in number 8, Amethyst. And they're really nice. They have nice colour payoff. 
And then this one here is kind of like a champagne color with a little bit of dark accent color. And it is called Moonstone. Well, that's pretty. And then over here are all my Mary Kay eyeshadows that came back when I was working for them. Um, I won't go through all the color names. Um, so we've just got like a champagne color, um, like a plummy color, a bronze. That's the same champagne color as that one. And then we've got a duo of like a sunset colors and then another bronzy color. And this is a Calvin Klein eyeshadow and it's called Golden Violet. And I'm actually excited to try this out. I haven't tried this one yet. Um, it came free with something, but I can't remember what. <laughs> and then along here, these are like four that makeup that I was talking to you about before that came free with those magazines each fortnight, I think it was. And yeah, they're just like shimmery things, but they're actually not too bad. Um, you can use them as like body shimmer or like highlight or an eyeshadow. So there's a gold, a silver, a pink and a black. And then this used to be my only eyeshadow. <laughs> um, and this is the Body Shop um, Shimmer Cubes. And, but they're all just like bronzy colors. So we've got a pink, a light brown, a dark brown, and a bronze color. And these are absolutely gorgeous. I still use them. I bought them when I was 15 years old. And it was one of my first trips to the Body Shop. And then over here, we've got another Mary Kay eyeshadow. We've got, this came free with a purchase online from eBay. It's just like gold pigment. And this is more gold pigment from MAC, which I got free when I bought a lipstick. I think she was feeling generous. And then this is from a glossy box. It's a, like a bright blue eyeshadow, which I couldn't bring myself to throw away, but... I wouldn't wear eye, blue eyeshadow, but as a makeup artist, I find it really hard to throw things out. So <laughs> that's my eyeshadow drawer. And then last but not least, we have eyeliners and lip liners in this drawer. So I'll just be really quick because there's literally a thousand of these. Um, we've got the NYX Milk Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil, which is great as a base for making colors pop out on your eye. And then I've got two coal black pencils. I've got two more white pencils. Um, this is a Lime Lily black pencil. This is Tight Liner, which came from a glossy box, but it's like a blue color. I don't know what their obsession is with blue colors in glossy box, but they kept giving them to me. And this one here is a dual ended Miranese pencil. There's a black coal liner and a sort of mauve colored lip pencil. And this is a nude pencil from the Body Shop. Um, and then we've got another NYX black coal pencil. This is a Napoleon Purtis uh, liquid liner. And this is the Eye of Horus liquid liner, which I really, really like. It's my favorite liquid liner. Um, then I have a nude liner from, from Nude by Nature. This is a mineral liner. And I really like this color. It's a nice nude color. Another nude liner from Mary Kay. Um, a brown eyeliner from Models Prefer. And then a bunch of NYX pencils, um, which are a mixture of lip liners and eyeliners. This is Plush Red, I believe. Yep. Um, lip liner. This one is Coral Lip Liner. This is a gorgeous cosmetics lip liner. It's like a dark red. And I think this is an eyeliner from NYX. It's in soft brown. This one's Cafe Eyeliner. This is a lip liner in tangerine, which is like an orange color. Another lip liner in hot pink. Oh, and then this one here is a Calvin Klein lip liner, which is actually my favorite lip liner. It's like a rose pink. And NYX lip liner in bloom. And another NYX lip liner in rose. I really like NYX lip liners. They're affordable and they work really, really well. And then I've just got three sharpeners. Um, this is just one from Models Prefer. And this one is special to me. This was actually a gift. I think, I think it was my auntie or my nana. I really cannot remember, which makes me feel really bad. But um, this is actually from England at a place called Taunton. But my a property that I used to live on um, was also called Taunton. So it's kind of special to us. Um, so that's another sharpener. And then at the back are just a bunch of eyeliners that I got free from that magazine I was talking about. And some of them work, some of them don't. There's some bright colors and they're kind of fun to keep if you ever wanna like muck around with lots of bright colors. 
So that's all of those. So I won't go through all of those because there's literally a million of them. So that is my last drawer. So that's absolutely everything in my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, so it's gonna be the first video in a bunch of other videos I have planned for collection and storage. And the next one's probably going to be nail polish, but I'll keep you guys updated and I'll see you next time. Bye.